My name is Robert Bog and I'm the managing director of Schindler Global Large Project. This CTBOH conference puts a human focus on density. I like density. It's about people. The elevator and escalator business is, at its heart, about people. Density is where concentrations of people are. And this changes. Every hour, every day, in every city, everywhere. And it is something that is now changing even more as our cities and lives become more flexible. Lately, we have heard a lot about the idea of polycrisis, multiple negative events that impact the world, a pandemic, armed conflicts, inflation, supply chain issues, climate change, the list goes on. Those are all negative things. But today, I want to talk to you about the positive side, the silver lining, the rainbow in the clouds. Let's be optimistic. We are becoming more flexible, more resilient, adapting to the changing world. We are working towards making a more sustainable, resilient, livable world. This means the pattern of human density become more dynamic. The world changes, we change. We must adapt our cities in response. Our buildings, our transportation, both horizontally and vertically, must become more flexible, more dynamic in response. This is incredibly exciting, as I will give you two important statistics. 80% of the buildings that exist today will be there in 2050. And we have yet to build 60% of the new city that must be built in response to urban growth by 2050. This is a lot of room for the adaptation and change in existing structures and in new ones. Normally, when we use the word density to describe urban conditions, people think about a fixed, large amount of people in a defined small area, such as CBD with many high-rises. When we think of cities, we think of homogeneous dense places, especially when we think about megacities like Shanghai or New York. Actually, urban density is much more flexible than most people think. The number of people in a place is never fixed, through the day or even the hour. And in every city, it is different with diverse parts from CBDs to parks and to residential areas. Therefore, as an alternative, I want to present urban density as a series of human peaks and lulls as the number of people in places fluctuate. People occupy and engage the city around them in a dynamic process. This changes hour by hour, day by day, season by season, and even as the city itself is built. We help design and construct the buildings that allow the rhythmic density of people to create, occupy and use the city. We humanize our approach by focusing on the flow and volume of how people move. And we do this on every single scale. To build sustainable, resilient and livable cities for today and tomorrow, we must understand and respond to the urban dynamic human density in real time. If we start with dynamic human density, the changes we are all living with now become easier to understand and easier to react to. We can understand human density at three scales. The global scale, the city scale and the building scale. Globally, we look at which cities people are moving to where people are traveling. Within cities, we examine the movement of patterns across different areas and times of the day. And of course, we want to understand how people interact with individual buildings. This understanding at various scales gives us sophisticated understanding of where, when, why people are coming to each of our large projects. At all scales of human density, throughout the building life cycle, we consider who is in the building, where they are, when they are there. At the global scale, we can look at cities comparatively, which are the densest, how is that density distributed, but again, 
we are interested in the dynamic human density. At the global scale, the story of this density is best told with airports. My team is called Large Project, and this includes vertical high-rises and huge horizontal building like an airport. They have something important in common, dynamic human density, which demands complex urban mobility solutions. Airports are dense, with thousands of travelers coming in large numbers multiple times a day. We have seen remarkable changes as airports have become more like nodes in the city, important places for people to do much more than pass through. We want to share an example which everyone here today will know, Changni Airport. We worked on a very important part of Changni, the jewel. The jewel at Changni is mixed use. The amazing natural setting with hundreds of plants creates a public space full of shops, restaurants and a hotel, serviced by a total of 178 of our elevators, escalators and moving walks. The jewel stands out as a place for passing, meeting and more, but it is also grounded by more than green appearance. Our Schindler Ahead system uses predictive maintenance to ensure excellent uptime and performance and reduces the need for energy-intensive maintenance visits and just-in-time parts orders. The global scale also touches on our shared responsibility to contribute to the sustainable, resilient and livable cities of today and tomorrow. But more on that in my accompanying call to action later. At city scale, we know that cities are dynamic places for the movement of people, goods and ideas. Where people are in a city is always changing. No city is uniformly built, no urban area is homogeneous. Work from home, flexible hours and changes in urban living since the pandemic are changing the demands on the city and we have yet to understand or see the full picture. Mixed use, adaptive reuse, repurposing, we know that the demands on our buildings are changing. It used to be that people started day a day, moved from home to work. At lunch, they left work or simply to a cafeteria in their office building. At the end of the day, they went directly home or went to eat. Now this is still happening, but often at different hours or not with the same peaks in density. We and our customers must consider questions like, how can we convert what we have to fit what we need, for example, office to residential conversions. A hot topic, I know. How can we future-proof what we have and what we build? I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you what the future holds. But I'm certain about one thing. Our mobility solutions can deliver a lot of the demands for a more flexible use of existing buildings. And of course, all the new buildings. But this means that we need new elevator systems which are designed to be flexible and change, responding to the urban environment, the people in the city. That's why we created Schindler Metacore. It is a smarter, future-proof approach to vertical transportation in response to the dynamic human density. Metacore, which is also presented in details by my Schindler colleague Florian Trösch in a parallel session today, is a new idea for how elevators can be more responsive to their urban context and dynamic human density at all scales. Schindler Metacore uses our Schindler Port technology and Schindler Digital Media solutions to allow occupants of grade A offices and residential units to use the same elevator system. This is possible because Metacore enables each trip on each elevator to be keyed directly to the individual user profile. In a single building, with a single bank of elevator, it routes users by profile, but fundamentally changes elevator operations, performance and even appearance to suit each occupant. It is extremely flexible, but also highly specific. We can apply Metacore to both old and new buildings. Remember, 80% of the buildings we have today will still be here in 2050 and they will need to be upgraded. 
Metacor is designed to respond to the dynamic human density. At the scale of the building is where human density and vertical transportation come together. In the elevator industry, peak hours are a key concept when the demands on the vertical transport are the highest as people move in the building. At Schindler we use advanced traffic modeling to design elevator systems. We need to know more than simply how many occupants a building has. We need to know when lunch rush is in that city and where people are eating, in the cafeteria, in restaurants. How have patterns in the city changed in the past three years? And how might they change in the future? And how does this impact specific buildings? But also, as I said before, we need to know who the people in the building are. People as individuals with their specific needs, seniors, office tenants, visitors. Our solutions address the entire human density, human by human. We do need here a good visualization, maybe partially animated. I want to share another of our key projects, which again, likely everybody here was in, Capita Spring, where the conference opening reception took place last night. The building is stunning. Capita Spring is a mixed-use complex. We have state-of-the-art technology, including our leading Schindler port, to manage people, priorities and performance throughout the day. This project has adopted a revolutionary API interface solution, which is currently one of the features of Schindler Colab. It paves the way for new horizons of collaboration for security, access and flexible uses. However, one of the most exciting parts of Capita Spring and human density has to do with how it was built. We used Schindler Climb Lift, which helped eliminate the need for external hoists during installation, which even allowed the facade to be completed sooner. Schindler Climb Lift moves the dynamic density of people on construction sites much faster than external hosts. Capita Spring also received the Building and Construction Authority Green Mark Platinum Award, one of the highest sustainability accolades that can be achieved in Singapore. If high-rises and complex projects were once about higher, faster, now they are more about smarter, more flexible and more sustainable. That's only a good thing. Understanding human density means understanding our shared challenges and the opportunities they present. We all have to get to places in cities. That's a lot of urban mobility which is built now and in the future. How we get from A to B is not something we should take for granted. Therefore, to close, I would like to issue a call to action for sustainability and resilience. We have a collective responsibility to build better cities for today and tomorrow. I'm an elevator and escalator guy. I think we have a special view on how those issues hit the ground as we construct and adapt the built environment. Because every project we do starts with the dynamic human density. At Schindler, we have our share of big things, like our industry-leading installation robots Schindler Rise. And we all love future technology. But I think a lot of the answers we need will come from employing the things we already have and moving the entire construction industry towards new ways of doing things. We have proven things that work, like regenerative drives, standard on every single Schindler high-rise elevator since 2015, and operation modes that save energy. Our regenerative drives efficiently return energy to the power grid of the building, reducing power use up by 40%. Our Schindler port eco mode depends on us being able to fine tune operations of a building in direct, real time response to dynamic human density, as the flow of people in the building changes. This might not sound as exciting as robots, but it works. It gets people where they need to go and it saves another 40% of energy. 
These are small things, simple things, but they have a big impact on the planet. We all have simple things like this in the elevator and escalator industry, but we need to use them in a consequent way. We also need to price sustainability issues into every project, every tender. Sustainability cannot be a fight on costs. It needs to be in the specifications for every project everywhere. This should not be a question. I want to repeat the important statistics from before. 80% of the buildings that exist today will still be there in 2050. We have yet to build 60% of the new city that must be built in response to urban growth by 2050. That is a lot of projects, a lot of high rises, a lot of buildings that must be adapted or built. There is a lot of room for improvement and progress. We have a collective responsibility to build better cities for today and tomorrow. We must act now. Thank you.